Hello everyone, my name is Brendan Marr. That noise you're hearing is my ventilator. And welcome to Page Turners They Were Not, my Star Wars podcast. Alright my friends, we've reached that time of the year. We're getting into what I like to call Oscar season. What do I mean by that? Well, typically, every year in the fall, the studios release more and more films that they believe will be contenders for the Academy Awards. I get excited. Now, let me be clear. I don't get excited about the Academy Awards show itself. I get excited of seeing the pros the prospect of seeing some of the films that are at least in the minds of the distributors the best of the year. I get excited because I like to see good films and I like to start making predictions about what will be nominated and what will win the Academy Awards. Now, I don't care too much about the other award shows, except the Guild Awards, Actors Guild, Directors Guild, Producers Guild. But Golden Globes, no. MTV Movie Awards, no. <laughs> People's Choice Awards, no. Those ones I don't really care about. Now, what does all this have to do with Star Wars? Well, because we I have not seen The Rise of Skywalker, I can't say a word about its Oscar chances. Though, every Star Wars film thus far has been nominated for an Academy Award. I should say live action theatrical film has been nominated for an Oscar, at least one. So it is likely that The Rise of Skywalker will be nominated for something like, well, probably visual effects, maybe sound, things like that. All right, so let's cast our minds way back. 42 years ago, 1977. to the release of Star Wars. Star Wars took the world by storm. And the Academy Awards held the next year really took an interest in Star Wars. Star Wars was nominated for 10 Academy Awards, including Best Picture, Best Director, and Best Screenplay, and Best Supporting Actor for Ella Guinness. Sir Ella Guinness, I should say. Now, let's look at some of its wins. It basically swept the Academy Awards in the technical categories winning six Oscars. Now, the only technical award it was not nominated for, and therefore did not win, was Best Cinematography. The movie won Best Original Score. Oddly enough, with John Williams competing against himself, To be clear, because he was nominated twice in that category that year. Once for Star Wars and once for Close Encounters of the Third Kind. But he won for Star Wars. So I guess that was the one category it won that was not technical. Star Wars won Best Sound. Best Costume Design. Best Art Direction. Best Editing, and Best Visual Effects. So six Oscars, and it received 
a seventh, that award being a special award to Ben Burt, the sound designer, for the creation of the alien creature and robot voices in Star Wars. Now, let's look at some of the losses. Sir Alec Guinness lost Best Supporting Actor to Jason Robards in Julia. Now, I've seen that performance. And as good as uh, Alec Guinness was, I believe that Jason Robards deserved the Oscar for playing the author Dashiell Hammett in uh, Julia. Julia is a pretty good film, it's not a little bit strange. Now, Star Wars was also nominated for Best Original Screenplay. Which I just realized I don't know off the top of my head what did win. I believe it was Woody Allen's film Annie Hall. A film which also received Best Director and Best Picture, beating Star Wars in those categories as well. Uh, yes, it did win Best Original Screenplay. So, uh, like I said, Best Morning Actor, Rallon Guinness, went to Jason Robards in Julia, which I see, which I say is deserved. Best Original Screenplay, Best Director, and Best Picture, all three of which Star Wars was nominated for, lost in all three categories. To Annie Hall, which I must admit I have not seen. So I cannot really comment on that. Now, Let's jump ahead to 1980 with uh, The Empire Strikes Back. Now, The Empire Strikes Back was nominated uh, for fewer Oscars than uh, Star Wars. However, now an interesting twist that year, Star Wars won Best Visual Effects in a competitive category. He was competing against Close Encounters of the Third Kind. That's a pretty good competition. <laughs> now, during that time period, there weren't a lot of visual effects heavy films like there are today. Um, and, and thus, the some of those years, there was not a competitive category for visual effects. Best visual effects would be awarded as a special achievement award. This is the case with The Empire Strikes Back. Now, depending on the year, if the film had several visual effects heavy films come out in that same year, then the category would be competitive. But it's very alien to us. We're so used to a lot of visual effects heavy films. And I think we can probably thank Star Wars for causing that. 
so the Empire Strikes Back received a special achievement award for visual effects. He was nominated for Best Art Direction, which it did not win, losing to the movie Tess, which I have not seen. Roman Polanski's film. I'm sensing a trend, but I won't go into that. Uh, however, The Empire Strikes Back did win Best Sound. Which um, I think was well deserved. Now, oddly enough, going back to Best Art Direction, if I could sidetrack for a minute, I didn't realize now that I'm looking at it that Empire Strikes Back was competing against the Kurosawa film, against Kagamusha for Best Art Direction. Art Direction is the sets. Well deserved nomination for Kagamusha, I didn't know that. So, it did my best sound. Nicely deserved Oscar there. And it was nominated for best uh, original score. John Williams was actually nominated for all three of the original trilogy. For best original score. In this case, it lost to Fame. So. so Empire was only nominated for three Academy Awards, winning one of them and receiving uh, the Oscar for best visual effects. This brings us to. Return of the Jedi. Now let me just double check that I got this right. Yes. Empire Strikes Back had three nominations, winning one of them. Now you have to forgive me, I am looking at the Wikipedia page as I'm doing this. Uh, terribly unprofessional of me, so I, I do apologize. Now yet again, the this film, Return of the Jedi, received a Special Achievement Award for its visual effects. Now, The Return of the Jedi was nominated for Best Art Direction, winning to, or losing I should say, to Fanny and Alexander, which I have not seen, but I know is a film by the great Ingmar Bergman, the great Swedish director, so I'm not going to complain too much that that Return of the Jedi did, uh, did not receive that Oscar. <laughs> now, this was an interesting year because at the time, which continues to this day, the sound award is, was split into two. When the original Star Wars came out, and even when Return of the, uh, and even when the Empire Strikes Back came out, there was just best sound. It then split into best sound and best sound effects editing, which nowadays they're now sound mixing and sound editing. Well, Turn of the Jedi, I believe, would have won, except that it came up against a pretty tough competitor. 
I have the right stuff, which I have seen. So return to the gem I have lost, best sound, and best sound effects editing to the right stuff. Which I saw, which is brilliant. So I'm not going to complain too much. It was nominated also for best score, losing again to the right stuff. So that brings the number of nominations for Return of the Jedi to four. Did not win any, but it did receive the the special achievement or visual effects. So this brings our grand total. The original Star Wars trilogy was nominated. Oh, you know what? I realized I'm wrong. Return of the Jedi was nominated for five Academy Awards. I think I missed one. So let me double check this really quick. Right, let me let me count this. So, and this is and again terribly unprofessional of me. One, two, three. Something's not right here. If I count this correctly, Return of the Jedi was nominated for four Academy Awards competitively. So, now that that's cleared up, the article actually had it wrong. Now that that's cleared up, the Star Wars original trilogy was nominated in competitive categories for a total of 17 Academy Awards and took home f uh, seven in competitive categories and received three more in Special Achievement Awards. So that means the original trilogy received 10 Academy Awards. Quite impressive. No Star Wars film has won an Oscar since, or received, should I say, received an Oscar since Return of the Jedi. Whether or not The Rise of Skywalker will remains to be seen, but I can almost guarantee you it will be nominated. So as you can tell, I'm very excited. I'm an Oscar fever, right? I regularly take Oscar quizzes to test my knowledge. So anyhow, those are my thoughts, and that's what I'm excited about. And I thought I'd share it with you. Thank you so much for tuning in. To page turners, they were not my stars podcast. May the force be with you.